Welcome to the Crew Motor Fest, a racing game that allows you to drive, ride and fly pretty much any vehicle you can think of in the beautiful open world of Hawaii. Whether that be cars, bikes, boats or planes, it has it all. To unlock the Platinum Trophy, we'll need to become a legend. And to do that, we'll have to complete what the Crew Motor Fest calls playlists, which features just about every race type you can imagine. Exploring the island in vintage classics, hitting up the streets in street racing, power sliding in drift events, hitting top speed in drag racing, going off road with motocross, rally or monster trucks, blazing at lightning speeds in your dream supercar. The choice really is yours. I'll also need to complete events, challenges, and that's just scratching the surface. So sit back, relax and join me as we attempt the Platinum Trophy in the Crew Motor Fest. So we're going to do this in three steps. Step one is to complete the six playlists, which leads right into our first trophy, which is built different. Own a vehicle in 10 different vehicle categories. I got this one early and first because you can actually import your car collection from the Crew 2, which is a pretty sweet feature. We now land in Hawaii and grab Aloha for completing your first motor fest. Welcome to the first time. Ooh, there's another trophy. We spend a little time exploring, gain some money and purchase a vehicle to get Gearhead versus Collector, which is for owning 30 vehicles. Again, I got this one early because I imported my Crew 2 garage. We continue exploring and finishing races to get the parade lap for traveling 40 kilometers in Hawaii. Next, we use the fast travel for the first time and unlock the blink and you'll miss it trophy. Ooh, trophy. We now take a moment to customize a vehicle and get customine for fully customizing one vehicle. For this next one, I decide to jump into a Demolition Royale event and grab I've Got a Crush on You. Oh, I got a trophy. I've got a crush on you. Participate in a Demolition Royale event. We'll be revisiting this event later for another two trophies. For this next trophy, you can submit your custom vehicle to a showroom for people to vote on. So we entered our vehicle and we got this trophy, Steal the Show. After that, while exploring, I take a few photos and get Alohu sights for taking three photos in the same session. Ooh, I got a trophy. So now that I'm getting a little bit more familiar with the game, I decide to try out the Grand Race event, see how that goes, which is a longer race in which you have to drive three different vehicles against 28 other racers. Ooh, Grand Ambitions. Luckily, we don't have to get first place, but we did get the trophy Grand Ambitions for participating. And then we got the second trophy in the same race, which is Rearview Mirror Smile for overtaking 12 players in a grand race. Oh, and another one. Rearview Mirror Smile. Not a clue what that's for, but I will take it. Now I head back over to the custom showroom and vote on five different vehicles for the trophy. Everyone's a critic. You basically just walk up over to the cars and press X to place your vote. Votes for everybody. Everyone's a critic. Hell yeah, that's another trophy for us. Then I headed out, did some more races, and I finished my first playlist. The playlists are where you'll probably spend the majority of your time in the game. There's about 10 playlists altogether, but you've only got to finish six of them. Nice, we just won this viewer and got another trophy, setting the stage. While just driving around and exploring to get the trophy, luck is part of the job for finding and opening a treasure. They're, they're pretty much everywhere. You'll know when you're getting close to one because your map will start to pulse and make a sound and the closer you get, the faster it'll pulse. Once you get there, you press X, grab it, the trophy's yours. Open treasure. Oh nice, luck is part of talent. Now I grab the big league for completing 15 motor fest events. So the next trophy I grab is the ascent. I head into the summit, which is a contest that consists of nine different events. I simply needed to complete one for this trophy, but I do recommend doing them all because we'll do that later on. You get another trophy, but you also get a ton of experience points and a ton of money. I completed that summit event, which got me some new gear for my vehicle. So I went 
upgraded my vehicle and earned myself the fan favorite trophy for reaching maximum level on one vehicle. Not long after that, I also became a Motorfest legend for the first time to get Walk of Fame. You could become a legend in three different categories. The name become legend makes it sound like it'd be a grind or really hard, but it's actually really simple and really easy. Now, do you remember that Summit trophy? Well, now I'm going to complete the remaining events in this week's Summit to get not so lonely at the top. You might need to buy some vehicles to be able to actually complete them all, but it shouldn't be too difficult. These do rotate every week though, so make sure you finish them all. See if we got platinum rank. Ooh, we got a trophy. Not so lonely at the top. Now we do some more exploring, take a couple of photos and we get the trophy authentic for taking 20 photo ops. Oh, nice. Shortly after that, I unlock motor feats madness for completing 31 different feats. The game has over a hundred, so no issue getting this one. Next, I went flying and unlocked Madcap for chaining 15 action combos together in freestyle. Honestly, I don't even know what counts as a combo action in this. I just span around doing flips, spinning around, going low to the ground, all that kind of crazy stuff, and it ended up unlocking. What the hell did I just get? Madcap. I don't even know what I got that for. Chain a 15 action combo with dynamic freestyle. I mean, I wouldn't call that dynamic freestyle. I was literally just try, <laughs> trying to control the plane and <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'll take the trophy though. So for this next one, mistakes were made. Use up the rewind feature fully one time. Bruh. And mistakes were certainly made for this one. Oh, mistakes were made. They, they really were. I'm stuck in a tree. <laughs> Use up the rewind feature fully one time. Yeah, I'm stuck in a tree. I can't get out. Look, I'm stuck. I can't switch vehicles. I can't do anything. I'm just stuck in a bloody tree like a cat. On another note, I flew through a donut and got sweet tooth. Through the donut. Oh, sweet tooth. So now we're making some really good progress in the game. I complete my six playlist for the cars, bikes, rides, and good vibes trophy. Not long after that, I complete my 30 challenges for can't dodge this. Spent 24 hours in game for that Pono feeling. So next I headed back into the Demolition Royal to grab the two final trophies I needed in that mode, which were that'll buff right out for destroying three other players and Doghouse Days for transforming into a monster truck twice in one match. So this is basically a BR mode, but with vehicles, you can cause damage. The whole point, of course, any BR lasts until the end. The whole objective here is destroy everyone but as you cause damage you fill up a meter which once full can turn you into a monster truck and once you're a monster truck you can pretty much one shot everyone else so these two trophies aren't super hard but they probably are the most troublesome trophies in the game at least they were for me but we got them both done oh that'll buff right out there we go there's a trophy this one took me a few uh a few tries but Happy days. I got it. I'm glad this one's done. Hey, I got another trophy. Dodge this. Oh my God. Yo, this, this run was flawless. We got the win. I got my trophies. Hell yeah. Let's go, brother. We absolutely dominated right there. I got, what, like six eliminations? Eight eliminations? Let's go, brother. So much XP as well. Hell yes. So I continue doing races, events, playlists, challenges, all the usual good stuff. And I get the main stage headliner for completing all three timelines on the Motorfest main stage. So now with all the six playlists completed and all three timelines done in the main stage, that's step one complete. So we're going to move into step two, which is a bunch of really fun stuff. First, I fly as high as possible and unlock and snare the sun. Right after that, I try to leave Hawaii by flying out to sea and get cane limits. 
I then go and perform a donut on the Ubisoft logo for French toast. French toast. There we go. I stay still for a minute in front of the Royal Hawaiian Hotel for local luxuries. I perform another donut, but this time in front of a pineapple shop for unholy pizza. Unholy pizza. Do we put pineapple on pizza? What do you reckon? Yes or no? For me, it's a yes. I stay in a car meet for 10 seconds to grab Hahu mindfulness. Nice. Mindfulness. I didn't even realise you could do all this. Join a crew for pack mentality. I do a huge jump with two backflips included and then transform into a plane on the way down for the trophy wear down. <laughs> that was close. Wears down. Nice. I didn't think I was going to get what, that one then. I thought I was going to crash and burn, but that's another one. Fly under five different bridges in the same session for English bunt. Reach 88 miles per hour in the DeLorean DMC-12 and use the rewind feature for we don't need roads. There we go. We don't need roads. That's such a freaking cool trophy. I then unlock Shaken. Not stirred for equipping a tuxedo and driving an Aston Martin. Boom. Shaken, not stirred. I then grab Pele shootout for reaching the summit of the volcano with a ground vehicle. Pele shout out. We're on top of the volcano, boys. Now I've got a little challenge as well to take off from the volcano. It's not a trophy or anything, but... It's a cool little challenge. There it is. And finally, smooth sea skilled sailor for completing a speed trap in a boat. Simply fly over a speed trap and, and transform into a boat as you pass through it. All right, we're going in, boys. Nope. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, did we get it? Oh, nope. oh, no, still, still didn't get it. Still failed. Well, let, let's try again. Let's try again. All right, here we go. I want to try, like, I guess I'm just trying to land, like, inside the little crater. Nope. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I could always just go to... I could always just go to one that's on the road and get it a lot easier, but... I want to do I'm determined to do it this way. I don't know why I'm, I'm like this. There we go. Oh. Did we get it? There we go. Smooth sea and skilled sailor. I mean, I definitely wasn't skilled there, but there we go. Good stuff. So with all those super fun trophies done, we don't have many left. So let's head into the event Ibisu style and complete it without hitting a wall or track limits for the die go, go, go. Chad, it's me, Hinata. Oh. That was uh that was a good attempt, weren't it? Crashed at the first corner. Decent score. We get the trophy now. There we go. Day go go go. Not sure what that means to be honest, but boom, it's another one. Next, we're heading to custom events. We need to win five custom events for the take the wheel trophy. Custom events are just basically the events you've already completed, but you can go in, you can change the time of day, and you can use basically whatever vehicle you want. Oh, take the wheel. Wasn't expecting this one, what's that? Win five custom events. Once we've done that, we had enough money to go on a spending spree and spend one million bucks for passion project. Right, I should get the trophy for a million bucks once I buy this. I've definitely spent more than a million, but I'm guessing you need to spend a million in one go, which is kind of annoying. So let's see if this unlocks. If it doesn't, it means you probably can't buy a bundle. You have to buy uh, like an actual vehicle. So let's see. Please unlock it. There we go. Passion project spend 1 million bucks okay yeah so if anyone's wondering why that doesn't unlock it seems you need to spend a million but it has to be on a single item which isn't too bad because a lot of the playlist unlock bundles there's two of them that are over a million so yeah as long as you do that you should be good 
Alright, so now for the final trophy before we move on to the two co-op ones is Leagues Above. This one is for completing five events in the main stage mode. This one is very similar to the five events uh, custom events, but this time instead of selecting custom events, when you go to an event, you just select main stage mode. Complete five of these and the trophy's ours. Hey, there we go. Leagues Above. Let's go. So now with step two complete, we're going to head right into step three. It requires us to get the two final co-op trophies and of course get to level 15. So trying to get these trophies with randoms would have been really annoying since the game has no matchmaking and everyone you invite would also need to not only accept the invite, but accept to do the race and finish the race, which from my experience, they never did. So I decided to use the best PlayStation Trophies website, PSN Profiles, and I made a session for three of us to agree to join so we could all knock out these trophies together. Two PSN Profile members, a subscriber, and a few connection issues later, we grabbed both. Look at us go for driving five kilometers in formation with a crew, and the crew too for completing a custom event with a crew of four players. Oh, there we go, there's three of us. Oh my God, it's a miracle. We're all here. Right, let's go before we disconnect or something. Oh, nice. Yep, same. Sweet. Yep, PB's got it. Yep, he's got it. Cool. Yeah, there it is. The crew, too. So now that we have both of those, it means we only need one trophy, the final trophy, which unfortunately at the time of recording this on the 17th of September, it's unobtainable. Nobody's got it. You cannot get it. So I need to wait for them to patch it, hopefully sooner than later. So for the final trophy of reach level 15, it's actually come to light that it's not glitched. You just need to wait for the end of the season. Once the end of the season finishes, it'll accumulate your levels and that should unlock the level 15 trophy. So hopefully we wait for the end of the season and then the trophy's ours. All right, here we are. So now they finally fixed the trophy. We can get the final one, festival fanfare for reaching level 15 and grab our new shiny platinum and add it to the collection all right so i should get my platinum now level 15 and platinum so i don't know if it's going to pop up straight away a new legend arises Check okay yeah out. so are we going to get the, the platinum now that final trophy and the platinum there it is festival fanfare you know what time that means come on give it to me boom motor fest alumni Let's freaking go. We got the platinum. Needed to wait a little bit for this one because we needed to wait for the season to end. But today was that day. We got the platinum. We got that final trophy. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Ubisoft for sending me a code over. I absolutely appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the next video.